Uh, you're awake. You're unconscious, and I brought you here. Hope you don't mind. Well, I do mind. Where am I? Memorial Pharmaceuticals Research Lab. Yeah, I saw Philip Tate come in here. Yeah. As a policeman, I can't ignore that, can I? I thought you were a detective. My uncle? He's here? He's mighty suspicious. Mighty suspicious. With all the evidence, he's got to be involved somehow. Okay, but why am no, I involved? No, that's not true. My uncle's the laboratory director. It's perfectly normal for him to be here. Well, in any case, you stay here. I'm going to take a look around. Why did you bring me here to this place infested with zombies? The hospital at least makes it made a little bit of sense. But this makes no sense. Why am I involved? She's not even like... I know it's dangerous, but I have to come with you. And he's like, well, okay. That would have made sense. Anyway, save. It is time... For, and I don't have a gun. Again, I don't have a gun. Um, it, it is time for uh, the worst and most tedious and longest part of the game. A slot for inserting cards. It looks like he came in from here. Okay. Alyssa. I never told you my name. Mr. Bowman? Just saw something really nasty. This game. A man covered with blood carrying a big hatchet. He suddenly attacked me. Look out. He's dangerous. Man covered with blood? Yeah. Better watch out for him. Thank you so much for warning me about that. Because otherwise, if you didn't tell me, I would have seen this man in covered in blood with a big hatchet and I would have been like, hi. But now I know to watch out for him. So if you told, uh, if you said yes when talking with Bowman in the last chapter, he would have been dead and in pieces in here. I wonder what's in there. Well, it could have been him in pieces. Oh, something smells awful. Right then. These look like entrails. These look like entrails. So the only thing, if you found Bowman dead, then you wouldn't have been able to get ending C in this game, which just means that it ends sooner than average. Exam room key. Um, well, there's nothing here. But like, either way, whatever, I guess. It doesn't really matter um, if he dies or not, is what I'm saying. You can still get ending A and B, but not C. Wait, 
was I here before? I forgot which room I came out of. Because everything in this room, everything in this game looks the same. There's nothing in here. If you see any other lockers uh, in the hallway, I wouldn't open them. And the reason is there might be a zombie in there. But that is a good place for us to... Uh, Keep a zombie on reserve so we can turn into base if we need to. But what kind of creature is that? I've never seen anything like it. I wonder what kind of experiment they were doing. What kind of experiment they were doing? That's all you have to say? The shotgun. I have found the shotgun. I have found the first aid kit. Good. Um, there's a bull here, and if you're being chased, you can use it. But all that makes her do is throw it at them and walk out the door. It doesn't stop them. So I wouldn't use it unless you needed to turn around some way. <gasps> that was so scary. The line is dead. You know, for all the lines they reused in this game, I find it strange how they have her say the line is dead like three different times. Everything seems normal. You remember how in a uh, Clock Tower one, where you, the fax machine was really scary because you read you read the thing sent in the fax machine and it just oh. Everyone must die and suffer forever. our last stalker in the game uh, besides um, the zombies which are still here and we still have to deal with them and uh, so that's George Maxwell uh, I don't have anything else to call him by and um, there's something about the design with him I mean he's designed actually looking pretty cool very corny uh, slasher movie villain type um,
But the thing about him is that he'll show up occasionally in non-scripted moments, and you will know that he's coming because he will, uh, you'll hear this, um, shh, you'll hear his blade dragging across the floor. And you know what that reminds me of? Silent Hill 2 with Pyramid Head. And that's very strange because that's a good game, and it is a very good horror mechanic. These fire extinguishers are your friends, um, and you will be using them a lot. The same fire extinguisher, in fact. Ugh. So now he's dead. So those lockers, I think there's a zombie in one of them, so don't touch them until you need to turn into baits. There's nothing here. Hint number seven. What were the other hints? I guess, yeah. Sometimes the armored samurai moves, sometimes he doesn't. This plays a ma major factor in determining the ending. Yeah, that doesn't help me now. It may have helped me in chapter one. I wonder one. what this device is. But it doesn't help me now, okay? So, that reminds me, the thing with Ashley, so, as revealed in the drama CD, there, there's a drama CD and some comics and some, well, the comic was just a promotional material that the uh, developers of the game put out, um, just to promote the game, um, and it just follows Alyssa going home and, uh, I am not going to talk to you yet. I've been locked in. The chapter 3, the fathers.
what was I saying? The thing about Ashley. The blue card. Yay. I wonder what it's for. Ashley, as I was saying, there's nothing in here. So the story uh, goes, according to the drama CD, is that Ashley was walking home one day um, from school, and that's the day that this game started, and uh, all of a sudden, George Maxwell popped out and injected her with cerebral toxin and turned her into a zombie and then she came home and uh philip found her and catherine screamed was like ah and philip was like oh shit and so he killed her and dismembered her body and put her parts all around the house why did he do that i don't know who are you i am shannon oh that explains everything thank you uh, a ghost? How fortunate for you to come here. You did come here to die, didn't you? I can help you with that. Huh? <laughs> Me too, Alyssa. Off with you then. Run away. So that I may have a bit of fun with you. Turning a debate soon, so I'm gonna put my amulet down. I also think you can find a first aid kit in here, or like here. And I pointed out in my first first playthrough how There's strange here. that was, and someone replied, "They probably messed up the code." And like, you're you're totally right. They probably meant to code it to like. It's rotten. They probably meant to code it to like the bookshelf. Or the shelf of pharmaceuticals, but they accidentally did it to the... The arm! Oh, it looks like it's still alive! In what way? Oh, how disgusting! I feel sick just looking at it! This is some kind of place, isn't it? Creature that bleeds yellow blood? Hatchet wielding killer? You better get out of here quick. In fact, I shouldn't have brought you here at all. <laughs> Sorry but about my that. My uncle. Mr. Philip Tate? No one's found him. Yeah, if he's human, this ought to take care of him. If he's human? You mean my uncle? I mean that if he's alive, then he's probably the guy who did it. Man, this guy's a shitty detective. Thank you. 
no. It's locked. I need something long and thin. His voice is like ASMR. Music to my ears. In there. Yep, this is perfectly normal. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Okay, I guess I know where to find a pistol if I run out of shotgun sh shots. Man, there sure are a lot of guns here. <laughs> Just around every corner, there's a gun. Odd-looking key. I mean, not really. Security key.
anti-crime device. I bet I can disarm it. Then do it. An anti-crime device. I bet I can disarm it. That was tricky. Well, I guess it's not a very good anti-crime device if criminals can disarm it. I don't think there's anything useful in here, but let's try. Okay. You found a pistol, but left it where it is. 